Okay, in the next section of this video, um, all we're going to do is just add one more subsystem. Uh, we're going to control it with an axis. Uh, it could be, in this case, it's going to probably be the trigger, but it could be um, the right joystick, or it could be to control um, an elevator or a lift or whatever you need. In this case, we're just going to have that control an intake, um, just because that's more appropriate for the start of this year. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to come over to our subsystems and create another subsystem. So we're going to repeat some of the stuff we've already done. So I'm just going to create a new class. Uh, it's going to be of the type subsystem. So select that there and we're just going to call it intake. Uh, and then it's going to be fairly straightforward here. We're just going to again declare another speed controller, in this case spark intake. And here we're just going to go in there intake equals new spark and we're going to give it a, a new channel our pwm channel so we're going to have a constant dot intake and a semicolon and then from there we just need to do our quick fix uh, which is going to import that spark library uh, that we have right there and import our constants and create our intake value as well uh, in our constants. And we'll probably just move that around a little bit here. Uh, we want that up um, with our PWMs. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll set it just to number five so our wiring guys know that that is the case. I don't need a second one here. Um, so we should be good. Uh, I'm just going to save as we go. Okay, so we've kind of have that set up. Now let's just kind of program the rest of the commands, or sorry, the functions within our intake. Uh, going to be fairly straightforward. We're just going to go uh, public uh, void. We'll just call it intake ball, and we'll take in an Xbox controller. We're going to use an axis from that. We'll call it controller. And then we'll take in a speed variable as well. And from there, uh, what we'll do with that is we are just going to go intake dot set, and then we'll say, um, how are we going to do this? Just controller. Um, actually, I'm just going to take a quick peek. How I did this. Um, looking at the intake there. Oh uh, yeah, controller get raw access. So we're gonna go controller dot get raw access. I've actually already kind of checked in the drive station. This is access access number three. If you want to kind of remember how that that worked, um, just going back over here. If I just fire up the drive train for a second. Um, I do have a controller plugged in. Probably get smart dashboard coming our way in a second. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, but if I look down here and I hit that kind of right trigger, I can see that it's number three on my screen. So I know that that's number three, and that's what I want. Um, so I'm gonna go back to my code, get raw access. I'm gonna go constant. I'm gonna call it right trigger. And we'll fix that in a second. And then I'm going to multiply. I'm going to have that speed multiplier in here. Multiply by speed. And so I can set that speed variable as well. So I'm just going to go quick fix here. I'm going to go create constant rate trigger. It's going to take care of that. I'm going to go back into the constants. And I'm going to make sure that rate trigger is set to number three and I'm just going to organize my code a little bit inside of here I want to have all my kind of access numbers together so I'm going to cut that I'm going to move that under um, the left uh, y and x axis and axis number three I'm going to go back to the intake there um, and that should be set the way I want I'm going to also add in here just another quick method to stop my intake if I need to do that um, so just going to go quick intake 
uh, dot or sorry set and set it to zero. Okay, so we kind of should be in business there. Just two uh, methods within uh, this class right now. Uh, we're going to get the controller uh, raw axis number three and multiply it by the speed. And then I have kind of a variable speed control for my intake for kind of intaking the bulb. Um, I probably want to have um, some kind of reversal. Maybe I want the other trigger to run in reverse or whatever. Um, but for the sake of this, or maybe I want to take a... a average of the two triggers or something but for right now let's just have an intake run based on that trigger on the right side so that's going to be fine I'm just going to go save all okay so now I need to make a matching command to this intake ball I'm going to click on commands uh, create a new class or command this is going to be a command uh, I'm going to call it intake ball using the same naming conventions as I've been using uh, I'm going to go inside here. I'm going to add that subsystem intake intake. I'm going to come down to here. I'm going to say intake i uh, and then I'm going to go uh, intake equals i in the constructor and then add requirements intake. Um, so fairly straightforward and then I'm also going to come up here quick fix add that Okay, so now I just want to think, well, where the heck do I want to have this? Well, I want to run when I push down on the trigger, so I think I want it on the execute, not the initialize. It's not a run once, or run while kind of thing. It's an execute. Um, so I'm going to add my uh, intake dot uh, intake ball is what I called my method. And then I want to take in, this is kind of the weird part, um, there may be a better way to do this, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go robot container, robot container dot uh, driver joystick, which I've already declared previously, okay, because I have the driver with uh, joysticks. And then in here, I want to do uh, constants, and I'm going to create a new variable called uh, intake speed and that's going to be a variable that I'm going to use to control my speed so I'm going to just quick fix here real quick import that create my new variable uh, create constants there we go so I'm good so I have that inside my execute um, and what do I want? I want to actually set that speed to something. I, I'll set it to 0.5 again. Actually, 0.5 is fine for my intake speed. I'm just going to go save all, make sure those things are saving up. Um, and the last thing that I had, now that I have my uh, intake ball set up the way I want it to be set up, um, and I have my just inside the execute there. And I have my intake set up the way I want it to be set up. Let's just add those to the robot container. So I'm going to go inside robot container. And this is just going to be really following the same kind of pattern as I've done before. Uh, I'm going to add in those two things. So I have private, final, uh, intake, equals intake. And then I have private, final, intake ball and I'll just call it uh, where's it yeah that's good intake ball inside there so I've declared those let's just do the quick fix right now port the libraries I need or in the instance of the class okay that's good uh, let's initialize those things down in here intake equals new intake uh, semicolon and then I'm going to go intake ball for that command equals new intake ball it's going to take in argument of my intake and then I'm going to go add intake ball equals no intake ball add requirements and it's going to be intake. Uh, and then the last thing, I need to set the default command because this is going to be that kind of um, command that that subsystem is always going to be looking for. So I'm just going to go intake 
set full command and we're going to say intake ball and because this is a trigger and I have that set and I'm grabbing that from before that's really all I need to do to add that kind of intake um, into um, the rest of my kind of robot so that's looking pretty good right now I have a new subsystem that's going to um, intake the ball with that trigger I have an intake ball it's going to take that in there so let's just test this new subsystem uh, I'm just going to run up here our simulator and see how that looks so let's go simulate robot go on desktop let's see it's going to build for us hopefully with any luck like it's doing that. Click up here, click OK. Okay, so I'm going to actually click on this. I have this already dragged over here, so I already have that controller there, but I'm going to click on this map gamepad as well. And I'm going to go to Teleop, and we can see that uh, if I press that right trigger, I get 70%. I guess I set it, set it to. 70% there. Okay, so we're good to go there for that one. If I press the button, uh, which was our shooter, it goes 50%. And it looks like I set that power on the PWM5 over here. Um, as you can see, when I hold down the trigger, it goes anywhere. I can do variable speeds, but it can go all the way up to 70%. Um, so you can see that there. Uh, my other stuff still works. My other triggers still work. Forward, back, left, right. Um, so everything's looking pretty good. So um, that's going to be it for that video. Uh, we'll wrap up that up and then uh, we will uh, see you next time. When we take a closer look at autonomous code.